Peter T. Bags. Welcome to our podcast. This episode, we talk about motherhood and mental health as a parent. Yeah, and we also talk, we, it's not all heavy stuff. We talk a little bit about dogs. Dogs yes, are always dog, fun. I like dogs. Dogs are thrown into most of our conversations. That's I because we have a dog. Yeah, and she puts herself in every situation. When we try to hug, she will always try to get involved. Yes, she's got to get in on the love. Well, you talked about I carried on with your boob talk. And, you sure did. And, and we talked a about making great a new... image, a fantastic image for your mind. What was it? Oh, it's a, it's a Newton's cradle that involves two saggy testicles in a scrotum hitting against <laughs> no. two saggy boobs. But down the line, we're gonna try that once we're oh, saggy Oh, that's enough. right, okay, okay. So. We should start practicing. That's our goal in life is, as a couple, we want to be able to Newton's cradle. We're gonna Newton's cradle. Newton's cradle our junk. We discuss which books we're reading and. Oh, I finally finished one. I, you it finished took me a book. so long. Yay, an, we did it, woohoo! I'm an English, I was an English teacher, so it's super embarrassing how infrequently I finish books. I'm surprised you don't, uh, yeah. It's just I get confused and off track. You, you'll find, you'll you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, but listen to the rest of the episode. Stick around to the end so you can help us rename the podcast. Yes, please. And We need your input. And you can help us figure out what I'm going to make for dinner that day that we recorded this. Yeah. So, check what, it out. What, what is it even going to be? Do you know? I don't even remember. I think it was fish. And it wasn't right. very good. It wasn't very good. But enjoy the show. I'm Peter Teabags. That's and I'm MJ. Peace out, y'all. Much love. Okay, so I told Pete earlier that I want I when as soon as we're rich, like millionaires, I think I said, as soon as we're millionaires, because a million dollars in my mind would make me rich, even though it wouldn't do hardly anything in a this million? in this economy. Um, <laughs> it would fill up a tank of gas. It might, if we're lucky. Thanks, Obama. Alexa, volume up just a titch. First. Just a titch. Just a titch, Alexa. I've got some massive boobs, yo. Well, that's just what I massive. wanted to talk about. Oh, m womanhood. Well, I, I feel like I should save it. Should I just go? See where we go? I don't know. I think. It's okay. Let's just go with it. Just okay, cool. I'm just gonna fucking go with it. Okay, so as I was saying, I well, told you, Peter that um, I'd really like to. I want to keep my my boobs because they're bomb, y'all. I like my boobs a lot. <laughs> But they just sag so low at this point. Do your boobs sag low? Do they wobble like, to a I call them, can, you can, can you not, shoulder though? like a continental soldier? Why would you? Like, I get to talk about it. Well, <laughs> you're being it, mean now. We can. Okay. My balls will happen that way soon. Well, they're going that way. Hmm. And you can sing it at me. Okay. Two as years. long as it's allowed that. I think I've got two years. Oh man, I love when it does that to the voice, y'all. Okay, so. I love when it causes a specific type of cancer. I feel, okay, and then I also have the, the mom pouch that every mom has, like, and I'm not saying like, we have to have these perfect bodies that we have in our head, but I am saying like, this is due to motherhood. <laughs> Like, what would I your boobs have looked would, like had they, they not, not nursed had, three babies? Had you not and, proven that you were a mammal? Right, but and that's like, <laughs> I've that's what I feel like. So I feel like if I'm going to breed, right, and I'm going to bring these fucking amazing humans, which I love and I'm very happy to have, and I raise them and they're gonna be kick ass. 
people. I think, I really think I did. We did. You did a, a good pretty job. okay job. Pretty okayish job. Even most, though, like, world's I most okayest teach. I still get, like, down on myself that I'm a bad mom, but then at the same time, I'm like, I'm a badass mom. Like, You're a pretty good mom, you know? Um, so Never anyway, you, I feel like my reward should be I should be given <laughs> free surgery <laughs> to Every get. Uh, just just a lift, you know? Just a little bit of a... Free cosmetic breast surgery for any... Like, if society is going to place this fucking high standard on women, it. then... At, and make us breed, and then... Just get rich and Be famous. mad at us that we sag because we, we did, it. and we are not always this image. You at least have to provide the surgery so we can meet that image. Mm -hmm. That there is where go. I stand. <laughs> Let's go with it. Oh my god. And that's the topic that's this the topic. week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where do we stop? Where do we stop? I'm sorry, I know that's I'm gonna terrify like... you, but look at that airplane. Why, though? Just do it. it okay, it changed before okay, you. but, like, it's coming... It was coming right for us. It's coming right for us! There's a I South Park it. joke. Mm -hmm. Where they, uh... That's how they justify... That's how they justify... You gotta try 14 different lighters before you... <laughs> That's how they justify shooting an animal, is they have to yell before they shoot it. It's coming right for us. We you me the yet-to-be-named stir-sticky thing? I mean, this one probably has a name, but ours is gonna have a different name. Man, you are smooth as... I mean, that's not a... Smooth as... People walking up to me and saying, hey, wanna make out? That's that smooth you're like, sorry. That's pretty smooth. <laughs> Oops. That's fine, I don't care. I'll fix it. It's easy. Um My shins are fucking destroyed. Do you see my shins? Mm -hmm. Have you ever actually looked at my shins? How fucked up they I are? mean, yeah. You point them out a lot. Oh yeah, I can't have a malady without discussing it. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I'm, it's just like Oh shit, that is a dent. I mean, that is a severe... Into the bone. <laughs> dent in your... Do you think it's and actually have, a dent in the bone? I have little ones. Or is it just dents into the tissue around the bone? Which, what do you oh, think? Oh, shit balls, I don't know. I think it's probably... I mean, can you actually dent a bone? Is that a thing that can occur? Okay, so... In the light, I'm loving the purple. Really? Don't love it inside the house. Fluorescent lights don't do me well. I mean, we don't have well, fluorescent lights. In and our that's house. what I hate. I hate my hair inside our house. But then I take like pictures outside and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I really like it. I like that it's a more natural blonde. Hmm. You do have a a pretty face. Oh, thank you. So do you. <laughs> it was one of those times where I forgot what you were talking about while we were talking about it. It was hair, but you, you oh, yeah. got close. You were close. Oh, yeah. Um, that's when I had a Frankie moment. Oh, yeah. I drank some long water that day. <laughs> what is this? I love you, too. You got a peek there? Whoopsie. Um, <laughs> Forgive me, Peter. I didn't realize I was... <laughs> you know, it's like my yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was doing holding my hand up so that we could... Because we're in direct flight plans. Oh, so they knew where to land? Yeah. Why are you calling them to us? Oh, well, just so on the video I can, I can know, you know? You ever known? Oh, I get what you're calling to, even. Yeah. Oh, look who's calling the kettle smooth. Smooth as balls, man. Balls typically aren't very smooth, quite wrinkly, in fact. 
I want to try again because I started with shit and you started with balls. So let's see if you can get a better one because I, I kind of nailed mine. We need a good stir here, I think. There you go. So we might rename the podcast, huh? I think we might. I think we found something that... Wait, we're renaming the podcast? (laughs) I thought that's what we discussed. Something with the backyardigans or something. We're figuring that out, right? Are we going to do the backyard again? So I thought you said someone else did it. Well, I'm, we'll, we'll get our it. version of it, you know? We're taking it. Nickelodeon did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I shouldn't sing this song. Man, I loved that show, though. So why not? Why That was one of my favorite shows that the kids watched. Some adventures in the backyard with Pete and MJ. We'll be your friends in the backyard again. again and we're in the backyard a lot we are this is like our safe like safe place i'm gonna get real sad when it gets we had a pretty bad year here. last year in terms of mental health and coming back here together was kind of how we at least tried to recenter and I guess for the past two years, huh? That's been hard. I'm sure everyone's Time is difficult. Everyone is fucking in it right now, but... Time is really difficult. Most of it. Yeah. It all kind of mushes together, doesn't it? The last two years for you? Yeah. At least for me. It kind of feels like the time that I went from... Being a bird chattering around. Oh all man, the time. remember when you were a bird? Or oh, man. from a bird to plants? You went off on plants? Did I? Remember when you had, like, we went and bought everything for plants? Oh man, they all died. Right at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, pandemic. Yeah. A lot of people found out whether or not they could garden at the beginning of the pandemic. We were not one of them. No. Mm-mm. Didn't make it. <laughs> As you can see by this plant we bought today that is already <laughs> on its way. We love you. Please don't die. Let's just. That's Maybe if what we we'll talk do. more positively to our plants. I remember that was a big thing in the '90s where like, everybody was talking about music. It's just we forget to speak to our plants. You remember that though, like yeah, it was yeah, yeah, big yeah. in pop culture. Everybody was talking about talking to plants. I don't know. Nature's like, pretty fucking wild. I, like, like, and it was always to show like some. To, like uh, some big city folk, like in the Anxious People, the book, as those people would have said, as Stockholmers. Oh, yeah, for sure. What was I talking about? I don't know. What's but... like a Stockholmer? Um... The person who does what? What was I just talking about? I'm, I was focused on Anxious People now, oh. so I can't get you back there. I'm sorry. Huh. Anyway. The TV show sucked. It just... Loved the book, though. The book made me laugh and cry, and so... When an adaptation fails, it it just stings you to the bone. Yeah, it does. Like, you're glad they tried, you're glad that it exists, but... And perhaps it gets better, but you didn't draw me in on the first episode, so... For that reason, I'm out. You know what's funny? When we say that, we're quoting Letterkenny. But when Letterkenny said it, I think they were quoting some other show. Oh, really? Yeah, that, I think that whole thing was some reality show. They were mocking some reality show, or parodying some reality show. Oh. But, <laughs> you know how I feel about that kind of stuff. Puppers. Get um, yourself a Puppers. I was sad when I found out that Puppers was the brand of beer. Because I yeah. thought he was telling people, go get a dog. Yeah, make just you happy. go get a dog. Because dogs not that make you sh- him so happy. Yeah, but not that you should go get a yeah, dog to make yourself happy. But That's I'm, not but the dog's responsibility. Wayne, and it will Wayne be. doesn't know shit about fuck that way. Yeah. So he... Ooh, what are you doing, bird? Tell me. 
Um, so this is like our favorite thing now to watch the birds. <laughs> We've named a few. Okay, if life was an algorithm. Okay. And it gave you, let's say life was a, the TikTok algorithm. If life was the TikTok algorithm. Oh my God, the same thing would, over and over and over and over again? Not that, well, oh. it would see, it would find out the thing you do the most. And yeah, I guess, yeah, what you said. It would find out the thing you do the most and it would make you do that. It would just feed you more of that, which maybe that's what's happening. It is. So it's you do the so maybe if you start doing like, these other things, life will give you more of those. A feedback loop. Because you enjoy this, you watch it, and so they give you more. And then you want it more. And so you watch more and that's it's literally a psychological thing. It's geniusly gross. It's weird how different certain people grew up. Like Indeed. <laughs> like some people got a different algorithm. Oh, okay. There's your. <laughs> some. <laughs> some people got a different algorithm. They, like, just from the start. It's weird. Yeah. I used it's to. It's weird. So we have a very different algorith- algorithm. Why did you choose that word? Because now I'm gonna try and say it, and it's gonna be embarrassing, and it's a little thing. Anyway, Al Gore's rhythm. Al Gore rhythm. No, Al Gore's rhythm. Ew. Um. I don't think Al Gore's an ew. He's just a. Aw. A rhythm? Like, I cannot picture He does Al not Gore. have rhythm. Exactly. So, his rhythm, I'm not. We are very topical, mocking <laughs> Al Gore and making the Al Gore rhythm joke. That is, that's that's what you get over here on possibly soon to be renamed podcast. Possibly. Also, I saw someone comment like, "Is this what content is now?" I saw that too. It's like, and it's like, yeah, it fucking is because we're putting it out there. Are you putting out fucking content? Yeah, you didn't make shit. And if you are, I didn't see it, so I don't give a fuck. Uh, Chris like, Hardwick used to have this. Why? Thing. Why wouldn't I put out content? Yeah. Like, it's my content. If someone watches it great yeah if you I don't thought that, like it because i edited that bit that you posted walk the fuck out of here we don't give a shit <laughs> i chose that bit to edit and put like as yeah. our podcast thing and i i just thought that was good i thought that was funny so if you and didn't i don't care I did. Yeah. Laugh well, at your own fucking jokes. Yep, that's what I was just about to say. You always say, if you're not laughing at your own jokes, then why are you saying it? So if if I don't like my content I'm putting out there, then why would I put it out there? So I, I honestly don't care if anyone else likes it because I do. I wonder right? if... Right? I do... I mean, I do struggle when people are rude. Yeah, don't be, don't be a rude. Because or... not... Not because of, like, necessarily what they say, but it just reminds me, like, what the fuck? Why are, why are there mean people? And then I do this thing where I'm like, oh, what happened to them that made them so, so mean? And then I start, like, feeling bad for these people who are being, like, complete assholes to me. Because you got a bald head, lady. I mean... Because you've convinced yourself over time that you That's what deserve I have to, do. to you deserve <laughs> to take that, right? And if they don't I mean, like I, you, I feel like a lot of people have that though. You've done something wrong to make them, yeah. so you you have to. I don't know where I got there, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm happy that I'm not in a place where that would have destroyed me, because I like because our mental health was so bad recently mm-hmm. and we're both coming out of it now I think but yeah um my whole body has felt like a fist mm-hmm. just has been white clenched for fist. a really long time yeah. like and I didn't realize it so I the clench had become the norm yeah and like I'm 
not just talking like in my mind, but it threw up my muscles like. Yeah, every single muscle. The other day, it. It's it's because your anxiety and that manifests physically. Yours typically goes to tension in your muscles. Mine goes straight to my stomach. And you get all throw uppy. Yeah, it sucks. But there's hope. Like you will survive it. You will get through it. We did. Even even like at the darkest points when I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm so proud of myself. Like I did survive that. We survived that. that. It was hard. The whole family did pull through on that. We I know. Even our kids, like I think that's important to point out that when when parents are struggling with mental health, kids are struggling just the same with it. Yeah. Because they, I mean, they don't want to see their parents going through that. And um, I think we've done a, re- but you don't want to shut them out completely. Right. They have because to know. they, yeah, they need to know that emotions are real. And I mean, they're go- likely going to experience some version at some point, maybe. Hopefully not. Like, but at least show them that emotions are real and they can survive hard things. Like... Yeah. Whew. So... Even, so some people will hear that and they'll Speaking think like... Speaking of tension. Yeah, I. so off and on throughout this, just sitting here, I've right, noticed my, feel the my body's like... Tension build up. It's like, oh, that's weird. Why is my tricep tight right now and my bicep? That's... <laughs> Oh, subtle nod to hoping the biceps in frame. <laughs> uh, uh, the kid was out here earlier talking to me about exercise and working out. Yeah. And like they looked at me and said, "I bet you'd get ripped in no time, wouldn't you?" It's like. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hated it. I would work so hard and like do everything, and then you would be like, do to do, and a week later you're just fucking ripped. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, I don't know what, I guess because my I people think it's your needed cardio. to. You, when you start like working out you do cardio like i love cardio like no other and so you can just i like to think of it as my people your people what are you the whites (laughs) the whites the inland whites all the scandinavians because i was looking and they're like from central part of sweden okay so they probably weren't vikings they were probably just farmers Uh, my my previous last name indicates that i was definitely of a viking yeah my maiden name like we're viking heritage are you scottish i don't know according to ancestry I don't have my phone. It's up there recording us, so... Uh, You can check yours, though. If uh, you wanna. So, yeah, I was looking at it, and they were the... They must have been the one inland. So, oh, that's where I was getting at. So, they must have... It gets really cold in -hmm. Sweden, in inland Sweden. And it also... It gets kind of warm, I bet, at times. So, they would need to... Put on weight cars. quickly because if I can also put on weight very quickly. Yes, you can. Yep. So. And I've done this many times. Talent. Oh, te- terrible, yours. terrible, <laughs> just terrible. I've probably got some sort of eating disorder. Um. I guess yeah, I've, we we talked about eating disorders. Yes, yeah, as a kid, but I it carried. Oh yeah. It yeah, carries yeah, on to Corey. adulthood a little yeah, bit. Of course, yeah. And it can like kind of arise at any time, you know? Yeah. So So I need to be able to put on weight to put it on to take it off. Yeah. Be warmer in the winter. In the harsh Swedish winters mm-hmm. of yore. I love telling our kids like the story of my great grandma. What's the story of your great grandma? She's Norwegian. She lived to be a hundred. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know this story. And like 
gonna move that so it's not the sun. The kid, the I mean, like the kids even know the story because they tell the same story. I don't, I don't remember much, but what I do remember um, was her sleeping outside, like I, the stories of her sleeping outside on the balcony because she missed Norway in Utah in winter. So like it was cold. And she just missed her hometown. She would sing to us in Norwegian. So you, let's describe Utah winter. It's it gets it's negative cold. ten a, a couple times. No, actually, I don't think yeah. I've experienced negative ten in the city. Uh, let's maybe everybody cares about weather because we Do love it? it. Yeah, sorry to interrupt your really good story with weather. <laughs> Your, your heartfelt let's, family. Let's go to Pete memory. for weather and <laughs> a weather update. <laughs> weather usually in Utah is cold in the winter, but not too cold. Like not like Midwest cold or Alaska cold. But it's like negative three, five, seven or ish. Why go with odd numbers? That's interesting. I would never choose odd numbers to... Mm. I I mean, I do say seven a lot. Seven is a number I say a lot, but typically... Seven. Seven. I can't count, apparently. Not a great show anymore. Yeah. I still like what it gave. I can't watch it anymore, honestly. I don't find it funny anymore. I almost... Same with The Office. Okay, so I hate Futurama. Really? Sorry. Why do you Sorry, hate Futurama? Um, I don't know what it is about it. I just... I could never get on board with it. It's got the... I... It, it, here's the thing. I hate it, but I will laugh at the jokes because they're genuine. Like, they're good jokes, right? I get it. I, it just... It's one of those shows that makes me... Disenchantment? Uh-uh. You don't like Matt Groening? Sure. Um, well, so, so, here's something my friends always say that I've never actually verified, but <laughs> <laughs> that Futurama <laughs> has, like, the most, out of any writing staff, it has, like, the most, like, cr- highly educated like most degrees combined really like there's like phds and stuff I mean, like I, scientists i give just... credit to it it just is like nails on the chalkboard but i would now because friends used to be my show <laughs> i would rather watch futurama than friends at this point <laughs> <in my life. laughs> and i don't i don't know why and maybe it's just it it used to be my comfort show, so I've moved on from... Futurama is a comfort show. Huh? No. Futurama. Please stop. I hate that voice. I just Hello. said it. I... What are you talking about? I'm just working Actually, on the you're pretty good at it. That's, oh. that's why it's irritating me so much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> some there, so I can have sex with it. I think he has sex with crustaceans. Oh, I lost it there when I said it, though, so it can't even be used. Aw, oh, no. So anyway, I, I would rather watch Futurama than Friends. And when goodbye, was, Friends. There's a hummingbird. I don't know when it switched, but I tried watching it when I was staying at Bleep and Blurp's house. Ah. Uh. <laughs> And, you know, I couldn't figure out the TV situation, so I should have just watched on my iPad. Like, or yeah, you had an iPad right there, a big old one. Yeah, and it's beautiful, too, so why don't I use it? I don't know. But I watched on the TV, so I had to watch live TV, and whatever was on was on, and Friends is always on. It's one channel, probably TBS, I would assume, but it's always on. And I went to try and watch it, and I do it. it. I don't even remember what it was. But I will say, I still say all the friends' jokes because. Because <laughs> they're fucking great jokes. Yeah. And... But I just don't want to watch it ever again. <clears throat> ah! Shit. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 I gotta do that too. So, let's let's take a brief pause well, for actually, dress situations. Let's make sure that it's actually even recording. 
I got all twisted there for a bit. Don't get it twisted. I, I get you're blocked by a plant. I know, that's the beauty of it. A basil. Basil exposition. Because they need to go somewhere else and pay for that. <laughs> for exposition? What? Oh, well, here's a bit of exposition. Should you pay for exposition? Uh, well, your exposition. Some exposition for what you just said. Your your allusion to something <laughs> was. Let's see. How can we? <laughs> <laughs> let's leave it there and move it on. No, move it right along. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, you don't remember where I was going, do you? No, that's why I said move on. Man, my hair feels nice. I wonder it, how... It's less pokey now. So... Yeah. So, as That's it the one out, thing I dislike about your hair is, like, it pokes trying the, to sleep. I know. Like... It's fuzzy now, During though, regular so times, like a... I like the poke, the pain. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> Uh, but like when I'm trying to sleep and I'm just trying to snuggle you and it's fucking and then my stuff. yeah and then you have your poke man I hate when you jab my hair into my head (laughs) when you like everything lines up and it just goes straight. straight yeah because it reminds me of like when so River has just these very short hairs Oh, they suck. And they can get, like, un- in your <clears throat> skin, like a slipper. It's that pokey. Well, because she's, like, waterproof. Yeah. It Washing just... her sucks because the water does not stay it on her. It literally just drips off of like, her. Like, I'm so it's jealous. So weird. I'm so jealous of people that, like, get to give their dog a bath. And there's it's all foamy all over. We try, but But, it's... no, she, her hair doesn't do anything. It's like... Get off me, I'm a duck. I know. I, I, but it's so cool to look up history of dogs and learn, like, okay, why did... Because they but, had to be swimmers, Weimariners. They're, those... They're not actually known for swimming. What? Those web... They're, they're field rivers dogs. Rivers web thing is... It looks like it was made for swimming. It literally looks like a flipper when she's in the water. Isn't it weird that every dog that exists now was created by human? It's pretty weird, yeah. Like, if humans hadn't intervened, none of the dogs that we see now would exist. But not that it's a bad thing. Like, it was symbiotic, I think. Uh... Like we both tit for tat, you give me yeah. a little, I scratch your back, you scratch my right, back. Right, right. Uh, wolves, you don't eat us anymore, and we'll feed you a little bit, and you'll get a little cuter. Wow. So they that are it's easier for us to feed you. While we're out here. Uh oh, got some doves. <laughs> Stupid doves. Um. On our back. Port. You know what? It sounds like the white do- winged dove. Just like the white. Sorry, oh. sorry. Didn't mean to scare you with my voice. Sings a song. Sounds like she's singing. I have no idea what the fuck that song's about. I don't think I don't it's either. actually about a. Oh, I guess a white-winged dove is a bird, and it's singing. It sounds like it's human singing. Mm. But why? Where's this bird? Why is it significant? What was the bird's name? I don't know, but the ooh, baby, it seems so. Sexual. I don't know. Um, speaking In- of animals, so we've been swiping on Tinder a bit. Swipeity swipe. I saw someone with a tiger. I think I might have matched with someone with a tiger in their shop, and I don't know how I feel about it. It gives me all sorts of like at a zoo or something. It, or they own like, one. Because I don't think like, I'm okay like, with you going to a house where they own a tiger. Either way, I'm like kind of because not. It's definitely not at a zoo. It might be like at. They, I think they were like someone who traveled or something. But the fact that they went like because that tiger has to be like abused. I feel like. Yeah, so and, that's the only reason it's not eating you and escaping is abused, because it's getting like, abused. 
to not. Like, I feel like it needs to be in a safe either a zoo that can provide it an enclosure that is as whatever or it needs That's to be for, in the wild like i can't i don't think they should capture them from the wild which i don't think they but do they for can't zoos. Release, maybe i yeah. don't know they can't release no they don't zoos are or as far as i know i hope we should look into it more yeah we like tigers uh but, I think zoos are fairly good. Like, they only take in injured ones, and then they provide... It depends, zoo to zoo. The bigger ones are, like... Anyway, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, either way, whatever the picture is with the tiger. So then I'm like, why did I match? I saw a tiger there. Because you want to discuss the tiger. Did you talk to them about the tiger yet? No, I typically don't message first. I don't know why. That's lame. You don't? I mean... I've seen you message first when you're into it. So, if I message you first, yeah, <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> Duh. Because I messaged. <laughs> or she was bored. Mm-hmm. No, I typically only match with people I'm actually interested in. I'm not going to match with someone because I'm bored. I don't think. Gotcha. Unless I'm... Except for that super light. For... Oh, yeah. But, uh, I hate that thing. What a stupid design. I do not super like anyone. Sorry if I did. These birds are flying about you. a bit to fuck. Yeah. It's fucking season. First of May? It's not first of May it's yet. It's soon, though. First of May. We have never actually fucked on the first of May to go along with Jonathan Colton's yes, song. Yes, we have. We absolutely have. We have been married for 16 years. We have at least once. Guaranteed. Okay. Because that has been around since the beginning of our marriage. Okay, maybe not the beginning, but like that at least. Jonathan Colton. Yeah, four or five years in, I feel like. No, because the kids were singing like Creepy Doll when they were Another like Another Creepy Doll. I so feel like. I fucking love Jonathan Colton so much. Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, he inspires me a lot, actually. Because, like, he was just He's, a dude. Yeah, just right. And then decided to make a thing. Weird ass songs. And then he decided to give himself a challenge and say, Excuse do a thing a week. And, and then he put it out and he called it a thing a week. So the album is Thing a Week. And then there was Thing a Week 2. Oh, that's had, cool. That's cool. When the second album. And I think we got Code Monkey on Thing a Week. Code yeah. It's good. It's crazy how many songs I know from that artist. Is this a Jonathan Colton, uh... Is this a Jonathan Colton fan cast now? <laughs> the Joko... He, did you know that he has a cruise? A cruise? Jonathan, yeah, there's a Joko cruise... Cro- out. There's a joke... And we've been on two. What? Cruises. Oh, yeah. I won't go, but... So... Jonathan Colton, he has a song about Tom Cruise crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know well, he has the Joko, Jonathan Colton. Tom Cruise crazy cruise or something like Tom Cruise or uh, Joko Cruise crazy cruise. Wow. Cruise like Tom Cruise, crazy cruise as in a cruise. Oh, boy. Wow. If Tom Cruise's name was spelled with a Z, it would go... <laughs> um, Wait, what was the... Give me the line. Cruise. <laughs> crazy oh, yeah. Cruise. Joko. Down to Fulton. Cruise. Cruise. With a Z. Crazy. <laughs> With a Z also. Maybe we'll switch the S so that it's even. The, the S yeah. to a Z. On crazy, you're yeah, switching lazy, a Z to lazy, a... Lazy, lazy, lazy. Why lazy? Where's lazy? Lazy. Crazy. Because we replaced the S with a Z. And we switched them. So where does your L come in? Wait. You're saying lazy. Jonathan Colton. <laughs> cruise with a Z. Because a way, a lazy way of saying it, I think. Like, to say it lazier. I don't know oh. what I was saying. Okay. Let's, I don't know where I was going. Okay. So, 
Joko, Jonathan Colton, Cruz with a Z, Cruz, uh, Joko Crazy with an S to replace the Z that we borrowed over here. Why do we have to borrow? Because it's letters. a placeholder. It's like math. No, so we're bringing the whole like thing. It needs to we're, be. This is we're holding all of these, and it, they're all moving together. So we're Jonathan nice. Colton. So you com- you merge those three layers. Okay, Jonathan Colton. Uh, Cruz with a Z. Cru- uh, crazy with an S. You need to calm down. Jo- Jonathan Colton. down with that. Jonathan Colton. Oh my. Uh, well. I, we get it. Joe Cruz. Cruz. Crazy. Cruz. 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 This last cruise is spelled normal. Normal because we don't need to borrow from any other letters and sentences. That's, that's how you have a remainder. And this is And this why, has been a math lesson from Pete and MJ. This is why MJ did Pete's college. Shut up! They can revoke it. <laughs> They'll take it back. <laughs> My ninth grade biology teacher told us that if she ever found out that like witnessed any of us committing any act of like animal cruelty or animal abuse, mm-hmm. like if she knew about it personally, she would go and revoke the credit that they got for that year. (laughs) Like, because it was ninth grade, we were earning credit towards graduation and she would remove that. So if, even if we're an adult and she does that because she found out that we were doing it. You lose your entire degree. Because you didn't have that ninth grade biology (laughs) credit for that semester. Oh my God. Would that really take, that wouldn't take, that wouldn't happen. No. (laughs) Like, you know how many pissed off former teachers there would be, like, just secretly going, like, conniving ways to get. Just revoking here and there. Because, like, there's a lot of shitty teachers, but there's also some students that are difficult that Mm. would set off some of those teachers. But those people shouldn't be teachers. True. If you're going to get set off. Yeah, if you're going to get set off, because I don't feel like children's behaviors are typically with the intent to hurt. Unless they're like to camping with some donuts, because then their intent. No, I'm not. I didn't get to where I was trying to get. But I made a donut joke. Still the same. Sorry. Uh, Their intent isn't to. I know, but I didn't get where I was going, and then I lost it. So. Ah, goddamn, Goram. That happens. Anyway. Goram it. It's from Firefly. I like. I like when. I like when TV shows and stories create swears. Uh, Frack. In uh, Battlestar Galactica. Get, get off my frack and tail. Like, what the frack, man? Like, it's just... It's a fun word. And it gets I the like same frack. exact hmm. emphasis. You get the hard F and the hard K. I like the way words sound. And the way people make them sound. Do you want some water? I should drink some water. Uh, children in tents. Oh, man, don't put children in tents. It's not a good idea to do that. I knew a kid who went into a tent once, and... Speaking of tents, that makes me think of River not getting fed Nova, um, Pen15. I love that show. The, I was thinking of that, too, the, that the overnight 24-hour yeah, walk. Yeah, I, ha- I did that. You did it? 24-hour, yeah. I'm With surprised. Andrew. Because he was... I think I remember stopping by. With my first boyfriend, because... I remember stopping were... by to see him. Yeah. With... That first boyfriend. I had boyfriends before that, but... Your first real one. Mm-hmm. The first one that I I would say I actually had feelings for or whatever. The other ones were just like that, where you walk down the hall. They just had a ball, and you... And you just... Played with like... it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> did you have your cat ears on back then? I think I probably did. In, in school, you just... I was in... always, like, so drawn to cats. I feel like I probably would have... If the cat ear situation was a thing, I probably would have done it. 
My parents teenage. probably wouldn't have let it though because Yeah, they would have I heard was... about furries sort of, but not known yeah. what they were at all. Yeah. And been scared that it means you're going to worship some sort of devil. <laughs> probably. probably a Cruella one. Yeah. You look like Cruella DeVille sometimes. I do. You look like our kids, a beautiful well, lady our, I know. Oh, uh, River. I, I text a kid to. Um. Alms for the poor. Alms for the poor. The poor, they need alms. Thank you. What were we saying? <laughs> Whoopsies. How does it write up when I'm sitting down? You know? Uh, I don't, because we fidget. You yeah. and I fidget a lot. I've learned that from editing this podcast, that you and I fidget a lot. I know, I was playing with that. That was my fidgety <laughs> toy. I noticed it earlier. Or, like, when I get nervous, I'll drink my drink a lot. Like, whatever. That's why I kind of always need to have you a drink. go through it. Um, hey, can you eat quieter? We're doing something here. Wow. Yeah, like, that is some noise. She doesn't even care. I know, it's weird. <laughs> Like, does she not know? We even have the on, the red on air <laughs> recording thing, and she just and doesn't she's respect. Out here, she like, just doesn't respect radio. I can't believe it. Come on, come now. AM radio will reign supreme once again. Yeah, I feel like. Holy shit, that's a loud play. So, do you think people will fund? My surgery. No, I don't think they will. Mm. So I'll just. No one's behind. No one's getting behind my. I deserve. (laughs) I'll just keep using them as a. I mean. As a Newton's cradle. They hang so great. With my balls. It's just I want them to hang higher. What are your balls doing? Why are you bringing your balls into like? Chris, are beautiful balls or not? Sorry. Okay. Not so to here's be a... a dick about it. Okay, just here just here's the picture. <clears throat> what? Cuz old old testicle havers the the testicles sag after a few years. Just like the A those... few just a few years. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, mine were after a few after a few years. Yeah. A few can be any number non-stop. you want it to be over two. Yeah. You can be no, any number over two. From... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Just One of them didn't. Nurse. That's, That's true. But... So, I was. Okay, so here's the picture. Mental image this. Mental image this. And at the end, you'll tell me what you saw, and we'll talk okay. about it, and it will say. Wait, do I keep my eyes closed? Because I can't see color. It's okay. I don't think you need color. Okay. Just picture it at a gray scale, chroma, hue. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're in tabletop and I'm next to you in a kneeling position. So hero. And then I pull okay. my balls back to the left as far as they'll go. And they swing down and they hit your hanging breast which hits the other hanging breast which comes back and hits that first breast and returns to the second testicle which I didn't mention earlier called a Newton's cradle and then the first one goes there how could your they're in the same package though so they would have to go there's some jostling not that much jostling. <laughs> there is at this point, you're saying. There's some jostling. I can't wait till we're that old and we can try that. You can, like... Sometimes, we're going to have such a good time. Sometimes it's As nice to, like, use them like a... So, like, you don't want me to get get any any of that because... You do want my scrotum pulled up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know you're going to get Listen, that Listen, you're going... <laughs> Just like a, you know, like, not, not a lot, like. Some, not a lot. Just. Some, not a lot. They just, <clears throat> anyway. But I was looking, I, I took this set just randomly the other day in our bedroom. Um, 
just panties and then topless. And the way my tits are hanging is really, really beautiful. So because it's I real. Have, I know. I have moments where I'm like, I just need them up. But other times I'm like, oh, I really love the uniqueness of how I look. And you're wrong. You're wrong. <clears throat> you ha- you look very like nobody else, but also like everybody that you want to. <laughs> Like I said, I made that Cruella oh, yeah, de Vil joke Cruella, earlier. Yeah. Oh, I didn't finish. One of our kids asked, or said, remember when you you tricked us into thinking you were going to be in Cruella? Because <laughs> the picture looked exactly <laughs> like you at the time, too. Yeah, it kind of did. Because you I had the say. black and white hair. I did have black and white hair. And you always time. look like Emma Stone. I get that a lot. Should I bleep her name out? <laughs> Why would you need to bleep her name out? Because I don't want her to Will Smith me and say, keep your na- my name out your mouth. Oh, you think she'll come smack you? I kind of hope she will, though. She's from here, where we're from. Yeah, she Except is. Except for the rich part over there, I think. I don't know that she was rich, but over there, I could just call it that. I like directions. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's an airplane. I forget that I get to make decisions about things. I'm a grown up. I hate Sometimes we're grown ups. Oh, what's that about? What Hold is it? it there? Boom. Pow. How do you like me now? Pow, 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 pow. <clears throat> do you want to talk about the Oscar Sidich mitigation? 56 minutes so far? Uh, no, because I think it's annoying. Okay. I think it was all just. Do we go conspiracy theorist and talk about how we think things are staged all the time? I'm sure. We think things are staged all the time. <laughs> like it just didn't seem it didn't seem natural. It didn't seem like it actually happened. So either dudes on drugs <laughs> or it was staged and it because and, and then it just it's all so stupid. I think if Will Smith smacks me, I'm holding my face, and we're talking about it now. God damn it. I know. Moving See, on. See, moving on. I don't think it deserves the attention it got because <laughs> it, it seems so staged to me. But that's just my opinion, so here we go. Um, I started reading again, which feels really, really good. What are you reading right now? It's called Danny's Mom. That's good. Um... It is about is it a the dinosaur comic... kid. No, that's uh, Danny and the Dinosaur or something like. Yeah, I remember that children's book. I found a stick. <gasps> we forgot a stick. Oh, um, sorry, you're talking about a deep shit. Yeah, so it's about a homophobic, homophobic community, um, high school, and um, like the whole bully situation. Anyway, it starts off with uh, the, the child of the, the main story person. What's that called? Words. Child of the star, the protagonist. The protagonist. Oh my gosh. Um, her child dies immediately. So Danny dies immediately, right? Like, uh, that's like the opening thing. And so, asshole. as a mother, I was just like, all right. I'm a, it, a dead kid they, already. They drive, or they die by Page driving. Three. Yeah. And so, or there, it's like driving in a snowstorm and they get in a car accident. I'm like, nope, my kids are never driving. <laughs> if, if something happens in the first 10 pages of a book, you can talk about it without spoiler right like in the first 10 minutes of a movie yes i feel like you can and honestly like it's all over the book it's okay it it says it's very clear that the child dies immediately it's like that and honestly if anything happens were you gonna read it let me just tell you about it okay (laughs) it's a good book so far um i was reading binti um, I got like 30 pages in and it's a 120 page book and I wasn't hooked yet. So I was like, mm, I don't know, but I'll read it. And then I'm real sad about that. I was practicing no. being sad. Oh, <laughs> but then, um, Danny's mom, like I woke up in the middle of the night and I was just like, oh, I guess I'll read. And I grabbed a book and there you go. 
I was 30 pages in before, and I only stayed up for like an hour. I like that when you can get through a thing quick. Like, yeah, so it's good so far, and... When your eyes glide across a page. I think, um... Like butter. Like butter. butter. No, it just pulled me in immediately, butter. obviously, butter. because it like pulled Britney up Spears my heart, would say it. heart strings. So, I'm the type that, like, I have... I have to know what happens, so I can read pretty quickly. And you read fast. You showed me that one technique that, like, smart people use. <laughs> smart people. <laughs> I think it's just a technique, like, a lot of people don't realize that your brain is already saying the words. Like, you don't actually have to read the word out loud in your head. You can just look at it. And your brain is processing it. I don't know if that even makes sense how I describe that, but it's kind of how, like, I can look at the page and it's it's almost like I just understand Absorb what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what color were the, were the, was the background on your Newton's Cradle of Love? It's just black. The background, is, so it's just like in a black box set? It's like... I can't really picture anything. Mm. Like, I can picture it, but it's just, I guess, grayscale. Like, there's, there's not, and there's not really, it's flat, too, I would say. It's not like a detailed image or anything. It's so weird. Does it upset you when I, when you're going somewhere deep and I make a ridiculous joke? No. Not usually. Okay. Was I going somewhere deep? I think, yeah, you were talking about a book about... Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not that far in, so I don't know yet. She's just coping with the loss at this point. <clears throat> um, yeah, just kind of coping with the loss. Husband's coping with the loss. Um, Is it a Dear Evan Hansen type situation? In terms of someone oh, dying? And it just being about I don't know. the it, I don't. sad people in their lives? Because isn't it like... Oh, the aftermath of someone dying? Yeah, I guess. In the community. and How dare they? There's one guy that like you immediately hate. And <sighs> it, this, the evil things he says to this woman... <laughs> Right off the bat, like about it, her kid. <clears throat> yeah, just I can't even think of anything, cause words. But it's unfortunate. People look so cute with these ball, this ball, and then like wanting to get the birds. Bird ball. Anyway, I'll give you an update on that book later after I finish reading it. Uh, I haven't so far. I haven't decided which book I'm going to read next. Uh, I just finished Anxious People and I loved it. You started that troll book, but... I started the troll book and it just... I don't know. It seemed weird. I didn't... Like, he hasn't. the kid hasn't fucked the whole troll yet, but I think he's going to. And I, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, so, like, I don't know how I feel about troll fucking. Huh. Like... So, uh, those the central Swedish maybe people you didn't really dive into that. Talk to Hermione and find out. Oh wait, that's not trolls. That's I think that is a troll in the first movie, in the bathroom. There's a troll in the toilet. I know. I was thinking of um, Dobby. Master has chosen to give Dobby a sock. But sock. Hermione creates the. That's elf, not. Oh, spew. Yeah. The Society for the Protection of Elves. Elves. Something, something, blah, blah. Do you think if that guy's hair hadn't been so annoying, we would have liked anxious people more? I don't know. Because they, they, it's like a big joke at the beginning of the movie. The guy's halfway through a haircut. Right, but the way they did it made me think, this is, like, over the top. I want to say the word kitschy. Kitschy, campy. Just, and the way they did that. So it kind of made me out from the get-go. I would have rather them just 
make the decision to leave that out or something. I want to do that movie. We could do that movie. Yeah. Let's make it. Let's make our own. Our own anxious people. Because I. It's a really great book. Like we just need a house with a balcony. A house with a balcony. Okay. An apartment with a balcony, which it's, most apartments have a balcony. We need uh, it needs to have a walk-in closet, and like it's got to be a nicer apartment because they have there's a table here, and then there's like an area over here where you can chill, and then over here there's a place where like you'd go to watch TV behind a wall, maybe. And then over here there's a little inlet where the kitchen is. I'm gonna is. be honest with you, Pete. I was thinking about food. <laughs> oh. Do you want me to make that fish tonight? It's not too late. I can make that fish tonight. I might want you to make that fish. I'm hungry, you know. Because you just fry it up in a pan, slather it with I know. A... It's just then I have to cook and then I want to cook. Why do you have to cook? The sides and stuff. It's just the green beans. I can do those right after I do the fish. Okay. Or before the fish. Uh, let me know if I should do the... We gotta eat right now. Should I do the fish before the... Hurry, hurry. tell me. Tell should me. I do the fish before the the vegetables or after? I should probably do the vegetables before. Yeah, and then know. there's a little bit of garlic in the pan. Soggy veggies. Oh, if they sit on the plate, they'll be soggy, huh? No, just don't cook them too long. Oh yeah, I'll try. I'll try. I'm gonna really try that. Like, it wouldn't take long, right? So maybe I should just... Mm. Mm. Should we mention starting a business? Starting a business. Boudoir business. Boudoir? Boudoir. Um, Boudoir. So, if you know of any models interested... What's model call? Casting call, I guess. Yeah, like, if you want to be on a thing... DM me. Yeah. We want to try that out, so... Like... Only if you're listening to this, like... Well, actually, always. Actually, always, yeah. But, like, right now... Because I'm not at, saying it's... F- at the beginning of April? It's free rain. Yeah, right now it's probably Just, like, if you're listening free. to this next September... But I'm just September, saying... We're you, not, could, you could still message me, and I'm going to figure out a way to work with you. But it's not... That wouldn't be the casting call. That would be... Uh, it could still... Well, we then it's then? not a casting call. Let's bleep. If you know of any models interested in being photographed by yours truly, have them DM me. You might even meet bleep. Might even meet bleep. In or fact, is it you. Blorp? I can't remember who's Heck. bleep or blorp, but you might meet both. Uh, yeah. Um. They have. I have met both of them. Huh? And yeah. Do you want to know one of my favorite Going jokes to from uh, Flight of the Concords? Mm-hmm. Jim Gaffigan. He walks up to them like he's. How many people have you met? And then Brett and Jermaine like answer. <laughs> and of course. <laughs> So, I don't know, it's just stupid. That's, that's the that's all of the joke. How many people have you met? Like, what a stupid fucking question. I know, but what were we talking about? The, you were like, I need to tell this joke right now. Uh, what do you get? Uh... What do you get when you fall in love? Oh. You need models to shoot with. Yes. Let's change that. We grow floor. I like this better. Let's say it this way. Go ahead. You camera has gonna shoot you. Right? You got a model. No, if you're a model. If you like to model. Hey, you want to be photographed? You don't even have to be a model. Why would you have to be a model? 
Listen, I want to take pictures that make you feel beautiful as you. Like, if you're there... That and represent you're... you and who you are. And as you see yourself. You are a model and idiot. Exactly. Stupid, Not with the idiot part. Stupid idiot. You stupid idiot butt parts. That's from Zoolander. <laughs> model idiot. Um, but what I'm saying is I would like to capture that you got a really good eye like your photography eye is like yeah like obviously check out my work i kind of have have self-proclaimed myself the selfie queen you have a very unique eye in photography like it's funny it's so distinct remember that one wedding you did that they They didn't didn't they didn't want it to be artsy at all yeah, they were That like, was their directive before we went in. Yeah, just don't do anything. And it's like, why did you hire me then? So if you if don't you... want my unique vision. So if you <laughs> shoot with her, you're going to get... Anyway, check out my stuff vision. because... Yeah, like... Be prepared. Don't come here for boring shit. It may I, have... I do feel like I have a unique eye, like Peter said. I like your whispering eye. <laughs> Wow. It is pretty, though. It's vagina. It's vagina. <laughs> Which I can see right now. Um, you know what? I gotta go make that fish we talked about earlier. And so... Also, eat that other fish we talked about. Eat salmon, the other pink meat. That's I stole that from somebody. Did you? It was on the Bob and Tom show years ago. I- I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little concerned that the mic is picking up my stomach growling. Is it? Can you hear stomach, it? Stomach, will you get will you get up to the microphone so we can get some levels on you? Okay. Sure. All right. Get in here. I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm Peter T. Bags. Uh, this is... I am MJ, and this has been a swell time in the backyard again. Yeah, so if you got name ideas for us, let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, name ideas would be great. We're kind of vibing with backyardigans. Because we the like the bee. Again. So. So, the bee. from our house to yours, and a whole pile of wires in between us, and then some oh, waves I through pointing the air. Like you. you got a point. It's People know who that you're looking at. You know, I'm looking at you. And also over. And snaps. We got the snaps and points. He fucking pointed. Fucking pointed. It's a moment that's ingrained in my head. All right. Somebody else, he fucking pointed. Thanks for having some fun with us and listening to us. I probably won't uh, not point next time. Okay, love you, bye. Seriously, though, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, wait. Share. Like, share our stuff. Share this shit. Give us a rating. That helps a lot, you know? Yeah. That'll tell Apple that other people want to do wanna this. Hear and then us. do a like up if you got it on a YouTube part. I'm going to end this audio right now. Oh, we're going to end it.